Good morning, Yabby Yabby Yabby. How are you this beautiful, wonderful morning? It, it's not morning here. Of course it's morning here. Now, my place. Right it's what? here. It's what, 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 what? It is already night now. It's already nighttime? Are you sure? Yes. I've been in my office too long. I haven't seen outside yet. Hm, I just woke up. <laughs> Hello, Tracy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Trevor. How's your morning today? Um, <laughs> I study. <laughs> I knew you'd say that because I said, how is your morning today? Meaning right now, <laughs> not how was. <laughs> okay, how was your morning? I studied. Mm -hmm. What did you study this morning? Um, I rested, listen, rested, listen, listen. Ah, you practiced listening some English? That's good. That's good, good, good. What did you do this morning, Gabby? Did you go swimming? No. Do you swim every day? No? No. Not every day? Why not? You have a beach in front of your house. <laughs> I mean, how, can, how lucky can you be? Do you guys want to have a beach in the front of your house? Gabby has a beach in the front of her house. She's a multi-millionaire. They're so rich, they don't know what to do with all their money. Incredible. They're like a billionaire. They live on a beach. I am not a billionaire. What, are you a trillionaire now? No. Oh, she's got so much money. Her bed is full of money. She just lays in money. I don't. <laughs> oh, don't you lie to me. I know the truth. I am not a millionaire. I have a picture of their house somewhere. I got to find it and show you guys. <laughs> hmm. And then I'll let everybody else decide whether you're a millionaire or not. <laughs> Who the heck is that? We got a green shirt and a purple something on a green wall and a, and a, and a, and a, and a pink thing in the hair. Who, who are you? What, 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 who's that? Did anybody recognize her? Hmm. Oh, I see Rafael and Emmanuel. What are you scratching? <laughs> I saw that you're on national TV. You keep scratching. You know what on national TV? What the what the what? <laughs> Just unbelievable. How's Benicia today? Good. Good. You know you missed two classes. No, I went on holiday. Now you're on trouble. Now you're in big trouble. No, I'm not. My even so, I'm. I'm. Uh, I don't get in two classes doesn't mean I'm in trouble. My teacher does not do that all the time. My teacher, if I was in trouble, my teacher just be quiet and I just give up. But well, who says I'm like your other teacher? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you really are like my other teacher, but my other teacher is fat. Really fat. I'm a and muscle man. <laughs> no, you're fat. I'm a muscle man. I'm not. <laughs> I'm super muscle man. No, they are not. Ah, unbelievable. No, oh, yeah. okay, no. You want me to show you my big biceps? No. no, 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 I can't because all the women will go crazy if I show my biceps on, on the internet. <laughs> It'll go viral and I don't want the attention. No, 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 no. I have to be calm, relaxed, peaceful. <laughs> Now you're not going to be calm. Right, um, Kiwi? How's foreheads today? Kiwi. <laughs> no. Foreheads. How are you doing? I'm good. And who is Tracy? Who is Tracy? Who is Tracy? I don't know. I thought she was your friend. No. She's not your friend? I don't know her. No, I don't know her. You don't know her. Ah, oh, well. Tracy, that's four heads. Four heads. That's Tracy. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. 
Were you in this class before? You're just joining this class now? Oh, yeah. Lay told me you were going to try it tonight to see what you thought. That's right. Tracy is a student in Hanoi. And she's going to try our class tonight. So, Tracy, that's Alien. He always lands his ship on Earth so he can join our class. And then after class, he'll fly back off to another galaxy. Hello, Alien. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine. You're fine. Don't they have hair or barber shops or hairdressers on your planet? Mm. No, they don't cut hair in, in your galaxy? Uh, I no. <laughs> Some, just someone, just someone. Just someone. Glory's in this class too. I thought Glory went to interest 11. Why is she on my list here? Well, this is interest 11. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. I have too many classes now. Glory's not here yet. All right, but Benicia's here after taking a holiday. Unbelievable. Didn't even bring us with her. Did Where's you buy us anything? Of uh, course not. Of course not. And you went on a holiday with your friends. Yes. Who? My, Gabby, my Elliot, other friends Jason, that was not Tracy? in school. Huh. No, 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 not Tracy. All right. Gabby. I thought Benicia. it was a doggy. With a dog? You brought a dog on a holiday? <laughs> no. I thought Tracy was a, I thought a Tracy name was a doggy. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought Glory changed her name. <laughs> Don't say that. That's 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 borderline rude. <laughs> what? What's borderline? I don't understand. Borderline means rude? It's, it's almost not nice to say I don't something really, like that. I really don't understand. Well, you said Tracy is the name of a dog. Do you have a dog named Tracy? No, but in the film, yes. Oh, in a film, there's a dog named Tracy. Yes. What film? Is it called Tracy? Tracy the dog? <laughs> no, I don't know which film is it. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Ga Gabby has a dog, and her dog chases chickens around in the house. Gabby? Who's Gabby? Gabby Gabrielle. Ah. Uh. Philippines. The, the rich one with the beach house. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, no lying in class. <laughs> temper, temper. All right. So everybody say hi to Tracy. There's a hi from Benicia. There's a hi from Gabby. Alien, four heads. Say hi to Tracy. <laughs> oh, there's a hi from Alien. Four heads. Okay, I delete you. Bye bye. <laughs> I love the power. I just push a button and people disappear. I wish I had that power in the real world. A lot of people that make disappear, but I won't name any names. None of you, by the way, just some other people. Oh, Jason comes back. Unbelievable. You lead again? <laughs> no. He's just not being nice. If he doesn't want to say hello to a new student, that's not being nice. Right, Jason? How old is Tracy? Tracy is a university student. What? She is a university student. What's a university, university student? It means it's a student who goes to university. You mean she don't have any more schools? No, it means she finished grade 12. And now she's in advanced studies in a university. Don't you know university? Like a college, a university? A uh, college, I know. Yeah, well, college, university, pretty much the same thing. Who else is here? Oh, Glory finally shows up. She better not be in a restaurant again. What? Well, the last Glory? couple of classes she showed up, she was in a restaurant. Unbelievable. Um. Unbelievable. Mm. All right, let's see where she is today. Hello, Glory. Good afternoon. Good evening. Merry Christmas. Happy what? New Year. Oh, she's got a cat on her head and she's home and the cat's behind her. <laughs> where, don't let the cat get the cigars today. No more smoking cats. How's Glory today? Um, I'm fine. Good, and I'm glad you're in your living room. Hmm. All right, let's get started. Oh, Glory, say hi to Tracy. Tracy, say hi to Glory. Hi. 
Hi. <laughs> you guys are so social. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right, Jason? Yes. Okay. Unmute. Time to get to work. All right. Today, teen life, we're going to talk about what? How some teenagers, some part time jobs they do in their countries. I think we're going to travel to. To what? We're going to go to Canada with one student. When? We're going to go to Australia with one student. Yeah, Calgary, when? Canada, Johannesburg, and South America, South Africa. When? In the reading, we're going to read about three kids. Three one, kids? Three kids. One from Calgary, Canada, Canada, one from Johannesburg, South Africa, and Mastertown. Um, get, oh, that's New Zealand, not Australia, from New Zealand. He likes to drive tractors. So we're going to read about them later after the break and the sentences. Okay. All right. So you know the routine. No. The first week, who do we get? Gabby got her first victory last week. I think it's because we can finally hear her. <laughs> See, they're rich, but they won't buy a microphone. Go figure. I think she's too loud now. We got to we got to turn that vo more volume down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, now I'm scared to see Rafael and Emmanuel in the class again. Oh my god. I better get some earplugs. What? Who? Her brothers. Her two brothers are in while well, they will be in interest 5 when the new class opens in a few weeks. But uh, her brothers are very loud. And they chase chickens around in the house, too. Chickens. I think they are chickens, to be honest. Chickens. Chickens. Alien one week one. Gabby one week two. Will we have a new winner today? Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go find out. Oh, can't do that. Can't do that. I got to do this first. Do -do -do -do. These old guys on computers is terrible. I need Jeff's help. He he's an IT expert. Jeff. Jeff's Gabrielle's father. He's he's amazing on computers. He knows everything. He was very knows everything. He was your teacher. But that's why he's so rich. Because he's an IT expert. He then builds what? like government computer systems. Unbelievable. What's he? <laughs> uh, Actually, her father is my teacher. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Gabby. <laughs> you are telling lies. Me? Moi? Jamais. Never, never, never. That's speak, not even French. I speak the. What? Jamais? Jamais means never. Yeah. Of course it's French. What? <laughs> what? All right, here we go. Teens at work. <laughs> That's it. I I'm going to put all of you kids to work. What in the world is that? A pocket. Okay. It's a pocket, but who said that? Was that Glory? Yeah. Empty. Ah, good job, Glory. Empty. Empty. That's, that's my pocket. See, if you check Gabby's pockets, it's just going to money's going to fall out everywhere. <laughs> These, these rich people, I tell you. Pocket! That's right. And it's just like a it at the end. Pocket! Tracy. Pocket. 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 Um, alien. Pocket. Pocket. Raise your voice. Sounds like you're having a bad day, alien. Everything okay? No. Are you no. fight? Are you fighting with mom um, and dad again? My Wi-Fi is black. You have a no. laggy Wi-Fi? Who's PC? Yeah. All right. So pocket. Glory. Pocket. I have empty pockets. I have empty pockets. Yeah, very good. That TS is hard to say at the end if you make it plural. Empty pockets. Pockets. Jason! I have pocket. empty pockets. I have full pocket. I have full pocket. Plural. What about Dudley? Dudley took this term off. 
That's why we had another space. So your mom put you back in this class. Jason, I have full pockets. TS. I have full pockets. Yeah, all right. Gabby, I have full pockets. I have empty pockets. You have happy pockets. Empty. Empty. I thought you said happy. I'd be happy too if I had hundreds of dollars <laughs> in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jason, I just noticed you cleaned your room. No, no. I don't think a bag. <laughs> no, that red bag has been there for three months with the black bag on top. <laughs> <laughs> Storage. All right, let's go to the next one. I have empty pockets. That is true. I have empty pono. Oh, empty what? I have empty pockets. See? <laughs> No pocket. No money. I'm poor. You're rich. Very rich. You have I'm lots so of life. Poor. It's not even funny how poor I am. Yes, I'm, it's funny. I'm the hardest working poor man I know. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got here? What do we got here? Ah, all right. You could do some tutoring part-time on the side. Job. Yeah, uh-huh. part time job. Was that yeah. alien? Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Alien is on the board. These are some of the part-time jobs you might do when you're in high school or maybe in university or college. There's a little brother. What's his name again? I forgot. Ben. Ben? Ben. Ben. B-E-N. Hi, Ben. That's little Ben. Little Ben and Big Ben. Ben and Benicia. Big Ben. Well, Benicia, your nickname would be Ben. No, that's not my nickname. My my nickname is Ben S. Benicia. Benes. Benicia. Benicia. Benes. That's not that? my. That How was is that my, shorter? I don't know, but that was what <laughs> my friends called me. I don't think so. We're just gonna call you Ben. No, no, no. <laughs> or we could call you. We could call you a little monster. No. I like that one. That's a no. good one. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. Now, I can see there's definitely a mistake here. We have a tutor. Someone is helping do some extra studies. Probably a student, a university student helping someone. Cashier, not the funnest of part-time jobs. Waitress is fun because you really kind of get a chance to work on some social skills and you're dealing with cash all the time. That's a really good part-time job to have when you're a student. And it's flexible. It's always weekends and evenings too, so it's very nice. But Stuart... This is definitely wrong. I didn't even notice that. But this should be... What would we call this job if you're cleaning dishes in, in uh, a restaurant? Daytime job? Well, for some people, yes. Not. Okay. But what would we call someone working in a restaurant cleaning dishes? Uh, washer? No, it's not. Why are you looking at your dad? No looking at your dad. Your dad is not here. Cool. <laughs> It's a chair. <laughs> it's a figment of your imagination. Employee? Yes. Yeah. Well, he is, they're all employees. If, if you're working for someone and you are earning money, you get a paycheck, then you are an employee. Just like staff. Yes. But, dishwasher. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what they call them. They call them the dishwasher. Even though the machine is called the dishwasher, they call the person who washes the dishes in a restaurant the dishwasher. That's true. Yeah, good job. That's a hard job, too, because most kitchens are very hot. I, I, I spent many years working in the restaurant business, and I know that the guys are men and women who had the job. It was a tough job because you're constantly cleaning and, and you're in the heat and the water is really hot. Yeah, so it should be dishwasher, not stuff. Wow. Okay. Do they use the real one. dishwasher or do they use humans to wash the dishes? Well, we buy machines that we can put in our house that washes dishes for us, and they're called dishwashers. But in a restaurant, you have both, right? You have big industrial, I mean, big company, big, big, big washing machines, dishwashers. But someone has to put everything in and take everything out. So they still call the the person doing the job a dishwasher too. But if you notice, 
he he's putting all of these in these racks and you see up here on the top all those racks yeah. those racks stack up inside the dishwasher machine so that's a tough job i recommend being a waiter or a waitress part-time that's a good job it really helps your social skills you get to practice english and you get to practice using dealing with money it's a good part-time job okay all right this one now, before you say talk or talking, remember, you can talk to yourself or you could be the one doing all the talking. Yeah. Kind of like when you're with your parents and they're going blah, 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 and you're just listening, 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 listening. And then when they, you try to say something, they say conversation, I'm not talking. conversation, conversation. Yeah, well, hmm, that's not the word I'm looking for, but it's very similar to a conversation. Talking. I just worry that I think your little headband is too tight. Discussion. Discussion. That's what I'm looking for. Gabby's on the board. Okay, so conversation and discussion. They are a little, little, little. Where's where is Glory? Uh, no, where is God? Oh, there's Gabby. Gabby's right here. Jason, you gonna play? No. No, you're not gonna play, and you're just gonna show me the top of your head. No. Well, that's what you're doing. You're sitting there. You're not saying a word. Your head is down. You're not looking at the computer. And you're not saying a word. And, I, and all I see is your hair. No, I just can't say a word. Of course you can. I know you. You can say a lot of words really, really fast. Fix your camera. Pay attention. You're put me in a bad mood. All right. No. You are going to put me in a bad mood. Okay. No. Discuss. This having a discussion is usually talking with someone about a topic or a situation. What do they say here? Your ideas and opinions. It's usually more serious. Like you're discussing something of importance. Um conversation, you can be having a conversation about anything, anything at all. So it's usually a little less formal and it's a little bit more formal if it's a discussion. You probably have a discussion with your coworkers or your, your manager, your boss, but you probably just have a conversation at the cafe with your friends. They're very, very similar. I, I would have to, to Google the difference between a conversation. Let me just check to make sure I'm correct here versus discussion. This, this discussion. Here we go. Let's take a look here. What do they say? A conversation, discussion. These two words generally indicate a mutual exchange between two or more people. Both people or all the people involved are talking. It's not just one person, blah, 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 and the other person's just listening. So they're both talking. Uh, with this difference, that conversation is com commonly used for all talk between two individuals, where discussion is for talk concerning a precise subject. So, yeah, exactly. If it's a little bit more serious and you're talking about something at work or something of more importance, then it would be a, a discussion. But they are very much the same. Discussion at work, conversation with friends. All right, let's go. So Gabby, Alien, and Glory on the board. Ha! Ah, my favorite vehicle! Uh, drive tractor. Tractor! Yeah, Alien got it first. Tractor! I love my tractor. Those big wheels on the back. Yeehaw! Do some wheelies with the tractor. You're muted. Don't mute it. You're muted. <laughs> Unbelievable. Who muted me? Jason, was it you? No. Why? Well, now you're talking. <laughs> Unbelievable. How many tractors do you have, Jason? Um, 3,000. 3,000 tractors? <laughs> that must be one big potato field. He rich. He rich. <laughs> Yeah, tractor sounds like an E R, not an O R. Glory, tractor. Tractor. Venetia. Tractor. Jason. 
Tractor. 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 Uh, tractor. Tracy? Tractor. Yeah, make sure you go up to that K, right? Track. Tractor. 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 Okay, that's close. But you have that C in there. That See that K sound? So you still have to go and cut that air a little bit. Track. But you don't fit, you don't go with the K. You roll it or glide it into a T. Tur. Track. There's a difference between tractor and track. Tur. Track. Tur. One more time, Tracy. Tractor. Okay. Alien. Tractor. 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 Gabby. Tractor. How many tractors do you have? Nothing. How many Ferraris do you have? Hmm? How many Ferraris do you have? Do you know what a Ferrari is? No. Oh, my God. How many private planes do you own? No. You own none, so your dad has all of them. No. <laughs> you are telling okay. lies about me being a millionaire. You are telling lies. <laughs> What, 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 what? Unbelievable. How can you accuse your teacher of lying? Unbelievable. I never heard of such nonsense. Oh, my God. Sheesh. What do you mean, nonsense? Nonsense. Foolish. <laughs> it's all humbug. Hockey. Hockey. Does it say sport or does it say a country in North America? Yes. Yeah, Benicia got it first. I think she, you said Canada, right, Benicia? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Canada. That's it. It's like a flag. It used to be a wonderful country. <laughs> That's the whole I'll say there. Uh, Benicia got it. I heard Benicia say it first. Did anybody else say it before Benicia? No. <laughs> I think. Who? Who said it before Benicia? Jason? No one. I don't know. No. Did you say Canada, Me. Jason? Me. I said Canada. Oh, that was my brother's no. sounds. Mm, I, I didn't. Uh, I said well, before. We'll, we'll do like we always do. If, um, if Jason, if you're close to the win at the end of the class, then I'll double check the tape at break time to see if you said it first. But I heard Benicia say it, and I heard some mumbling before that, so I don't know who got it first. But I, it sounded to me like Benicia. Unless someone heard Jason say it first. Did anybody hear Jason say it before Benicia? No. No, me. No, no, no. What, Alien? It's me. Well, I think I'm like. Oh, you said it too. All right. Well, we'll check the video at break time to see if there's any, if it means a, a difference for who wins it. Okay. Oh, who knows this, right? Canada, that's right. Yeah, that's our government building. That's the Parliament Hill. And, and that's the, well, one of the national sports. Canada actually has two national languages and it has two national sports. Um, even though most people speak English in Canada, um, there is a huge French population of like, nine or 10 million people in one province, Quebec. Um, so they made both languages official, French and English in Canada. And the, the winter national sport in Canada, of course, is one of my favorites, hockey. It's a very fun sport. Um, but there's another sport in the summer. And I think we talked about this in interest two or interest three. Or interest. Does anybody remember what? the other national sport is in Canada? The summer national sport? No. No? It's so very... My brother again. It's okay. It's very similar to hockey. It's almost the same rules, except they run and they hold a stick with a net on top and they have to pass it around just like hockey and, th and sh throw it at a net to score. Anybody know what that sport is? No. No. It's, it's called lacro lacrosse or lacrosse, just depending which accent you want to use. Lacrosse or lacrosse, again, depends on whether you want the French or English accent. Um, it's an old sport. It's a very old sport. It was discovered in 
I think the 1600s. I hate lagging. I hate green. Yeah, it's hard sometimes when you just use the Wi-Fi. That's why we had to install all the hard lines for all the computers here at Newway because um, obviously the school has to have this most so- the, the most solid, can I say that? The solidest? The most solid. The most solid connection possible. I don't think you can say solidest. Solid or solid. Yeah, most solid. Most solid. <laughs> sometimes my English goes out the window. Canada. Yeah. Hockey is one of the best things about Canada. For sure. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Ah, so you're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to break into people's houses. You know, yeah, robbery. Right? To- robbery. <laughs> robbery. Yes, I robbed uh, that woman. <laughs> yeah. Again, again, again. Was that glory? Criminal. Criminal. Very good. Yes, but no. Of course, they are criminals, but it's the action that they're doing. The action is not allowed. So Crime. Let go. So, Let go. Uh, yeah. Say it again, alien. Let go. Legal. No, legal means you can do it. Illegal. Illegal. Who was that, Jason? Illegal. Who said illegal? Tracy. Tracy? Did you say it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Tracy's on the board. Illegal alien. If you are allowed to do it, it's okay. It is legal, right? It is legal to drive a car when you're 16 or something and you have a license. It is illegal to be 11 years old and take your dad's car and go driving around the city. That's illegal. You're not allowed. (laughs) Illegal. Right. I know Benicia does it all the time, but oh. that's Jakarta. Jakarta is a weird no. place. <laughs> no, I never ride my dad's car except a mini car. <laughs> so breaking into someone's house is illegal. Stealing people. It's called kidnapping. That's illegal. Never do it. Kidnapping a, a child. What? Kidnapping a child. Yeah. No, very, 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 very illegal. There was something says in the news that says kidnapping a child. Well, it happens, and and that's why you always hear that teachers and parents will tell you never speak to strangers outside when you're you know some somebody comes up to you and starts talking to you and, and offering you ca- candy or ice cream or something or money or anything. Um, always run away from someone if that someone that comes up to you that you don't know what they call a stranger. Always run away from them. And if anybody tries to grab you or anything and you don't know them, scream and kick and bite and do everything you can to get attention. Ouch. Use the Kung Fu. (laughs) A chop chop here and a chop chop there and a couple of kicks (laughs) over there. And you'll you'll, you'll, you'll get some attention. What about what if he brought some dangerous weapons? Then you run faster. No, 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 no. (laughs) But what if he runs super duper fast and he has weapons and and blasted at us? Well, then you run towards a crowd of people and you say, help, crazy man chasing me. I don't know him. <laughs> understand? No. <laughs> no, huh? So you laugh at things you don't understand, huh? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> never, never, never pay attention to strangers. Always walk away. Okay, let's move Always on. Always walk away and ignore oh. them. What, what, Glory? Just walk away and ignore them. Yeah, walk away, ignore them, just stay away if they keep following What if there's you. no crowd? Well, what are you doing in a place outside by yourself without any people around? Right away, you put yourself in a very bad situation. So don't go to empty places outside alone. Not good. Right? Yeah. yeah. So stay with your family, stay with your friends, stay with groups, and stay around people. Don't go running off in back alleys by yourself, exploring the city or something. Don't do that. That's very dangerous. Especially for very young people. Very dangerous. Kids. Very dangerous. So be smart. 90% of not getting in trouble is just using what God gave you. Common sense. That could be dangerous. So don't do it. 
simple. It's kind of like you're at the beach and you know there's sharks in the water and you jump in. You put yourself in trouble. Why? Not smart. Mm -hmm. Because we want to swim with sharks. Right. If you get in trouble, it's your own fault. Baby sharks. Baby sharks. Well, guess what? If there's a baby shark around, there's a mama shark around too. <laughs> mama shark around too. Uh huh. This is the I heard something said it again. All right, way down at the bottom here, we have a country. That's where I already told you one of the one of the kids we're going to talk New about. New Zealand. Zealand. No, that is not New Zealand. It's in Africa. New Zealand is not in Africa. No, that is not New Zealand. It's in Africa. New Zealand is not in Africa. South there, Africa. There's South, something say there's something say again and again. And someone has a handphone or something and they're they're watching the class on Facebook. So there's a little delay. That's probably the cigar smoking cat with glory. Is that is that your cat smoking? I saw smoke again. So your cat sitting there smoking cigars and watching the class on Facebook. Is that what's happening over there? South Africa. South Africa it is. Did your dad tell you? Mine no. is 10 points. No. <laughs> no. Okay. South Africa is the name of this country. Yes. Uh, I hear it's a beautiful place. I've it's never been there, but it's what? It's what, Gabby Rabby? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, it's a, it's a very beautiful place. I, I hear lots of good things about it, but it's also a very rough place these days. Why? Well, they have a long history. Oh, same, pretty much like America's before there was, it was, it is, and it was a very racist um, place. There's a lot What's of fighting, racist? a lot of fighting between different colored people, black people and white people. They call it apartheid, I think. Yeah. A party? Apartheid. No, not a party. <laughs> <laughs> party. I thought they were yeah. celebrating a party. <laughs> well, party. just quickly. South Africa, of course, it's part of Africa. So the native people from Africa are black, right? And there's different Sulu and all kinds of different tribes and groups. But of course, it's a it's a it's rich with resources. Rich? It's a rich territory or land, yeah. Like they have diamond mines and a few other things down there where that makes a lot of money. So a lot of Dutch people and English people and probably a few other countries have moved down there to mine and make money but of course there's conflict between the local people and it's the, down beside, beside yeah. some and the water. waters are very dangerous i think these waters in the south is like the capital of great white sharks they have lo a lot of great white sharks it's a very dangerous place to go swimming where do you swim anyway where do i swim yes i swim at the beach but if there are sharks, mm, well, there probably are some sharks in the China Sea, but you, you don't hear of too many shark attacks in the China Sea. I so never have... heard a shark attack. No, no I know it's really funny. Bali, they get if they get sharks around Bali a lot, but I Jakarta, it's just too polluted. Probably that's why they, sharks don't want to go there. But yeah. sometimes I saw a baby shark. Oh yeah, but there's no mama shark. <laughs> I don't know how long uh, baby sharks stay with their parents. Group? I don't, I don't group? know if they do or not. Group? Yeah, group. That's right, Benicia. We got a tight one. Alien, two points. Benicia, two points. Gabby, two points. Tracy, one point. Glory, one point. Just Jason. But he might have a point. We're not sure yet. But you got to get another one. Or I'm not looking at the tape. And you can't answer if you're muted. Unbelievable. Group. Yeah. What is the group doing? Swimming. The big um, picture. The big picture. Swimming. Swimming? Who's swimming? What? BT? I don't understand anything you're saying. <laughs> it looks like they're working together. It looks like a team. Meeting. Meeting. Uh, uh, meeting. Sure. 
And then what's the small picture at the beach? What are they doing? Holidaying. Holidaying. Maybe yes, maybe no. But what are they doing? They're taking a picture. What, what, do, you a call? Picture, I guess. what do you take a picture when you take a picture of yourself? What? What are you doing when you take selfie. a picture of yourself? Selfie. A ah, selfie. That's right. But, but you already take the picture and then they take it again in the Maybe. picture. Maybe they take a whole bunch of pictures. Maybe. <laughs> All right. If you have a driver's license, you can drive a car. If you have a fishing license, you can go fishing. What? License? No, not license. This time you're allowed by law. Illegal? Illegal. <laughs> Illegal means you can't do it. This you can. Legal? Legal. Legal. All right. Again, I heard Benicia first. Legal what? Legal means you can do it. It's not against the rules. It's okay to do something allowed by Who law. Said Who said it? I Who's talking? Jason. Jason, are you talking again? I don't see a mouse moving. I just see some <laughs> hair flopping around. That's funny. No, well, you're going to have to speak up louder, Jason, because I don't hear anything you say, and I don't see your mouth moving, so it's very, very difficult to, to know if you actually said a word. Right, alien? Yeah. So where's your face? Are you related to Jason now? Oh, no. no. Fix your camera. Tracy, where's your mouth? I don't see your face either. Ooh. Fix your camera. There's a mouth. <laughs> Okay, Next here's the deal. Now. Here's the deal. Because I'm getting very, very tired of looking at the top of people's heads. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things I do when I ask the questions is I look at your faces. Because sometimes two of you say the word at the same time. But if I see your mouth moving, then I know who it is. And it's easier for me to, to figure out who said the word first. So it's very simple. From now on, if I don't see your face, I delete you. Oh, no. Oh, no. I want you to look like Glory, oh. Benicia, and Gabby. You see how I can see the face? The face is in the middle of the screen, not down here. <laughs> you talk. Gabby, where is he? How do you see? Hmm. I can't hear your voice. Exactly. Legal. I heard Benicia first. Ah, taking what? Making, taking? Uh, taking notes. That's right. Benicia again. Taking notes, writing notes, making notes. That's right. Things to remind you you have to do something or you're trying to organize something, whatever it may be. Maybe a list of things you have to do, errands or chores or tasks. Yeah. Note. Take a note. Notes. Sometimes I put in notes for... Sometimes my friends are not here, so I put a note under the under the door. So when she comes home, she knows that I was visiting, but I didn't. But she wasn't there. Yeah, well, notes are very very useful. They they help us remember things. They're great for sending messages to people. Yeah, no, they're very good. And and using notes helps you get more organized. You know, learning how to to write properly, read a lot. And that also helps you speak and communicate. They say articulate to be able to put your thoughts into words. You'll notice sometimes you try to explain something and you can't find the right words to say and you kind of sound silly a little bit. But reading and writing really helps you train your brain to organize your thoughts. And that translates into being able to speak a lot better. And of course, you got to build up your vocabulary too. So it's a lot of things, but they're all connected. And taking notes, making notes is something you should always do because it helps you organize your day or your week or the things you have to do. Yeah. All right. Notes. What's next? Aha. Now this has a couple of meanings. So I'm just going to go with it and uh, see if you get it first. And I'll explain after. Photos. Photos. 
collection. Yeah. Album. It is a collection. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you because the word actually we're looking for here is is well, it could be a noun or a verb, but it's collect, right? But now it, it's the same action, right? I'm collecting stamps, right, to make a, a collection of all these stamps from different countries, or I'm collecting coins to put in a collection. But there's also other things like where you could be collecting garbage, not because you want to save it. But because you want to clean it up and put it in the proper place, right? So this, it can be used in different ways. So um, some animals, when they are in the forest, they don't eat trash. I don't know of any. Well, I think goats. Goats like to eat everything. I think if you leave a bag of chips outside, the goat will probably eat the bag of chips. Oh uh, my god! As far as maybe I know. if you maybe if you want to go to follow you. Everywhere you should put a trail of some foods, and then the goat will follow you everywhere you go to wait some to wait for you to give the goat some food. Well, probably just like your dog and cat too. If you leave what they like to eat in a trail, they'll follow you. But there are some animals that collect things. Can you think of any animals that collect things? Yeah. The fox. The the fox. What does a fox collect? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> My question is, can you think of any animals that do collect things? Mouse. What does, uh, mouse. Mouse, co mouse collects like food, like cheese. They collect lots of food. Well, no, they don't collect it. They find cheese. They just eat it. What is it, Gabby? Squirrels. Yeah, squirrels. That's a what tough word to do? say. And what do squirrels do? Oh. Well, a lot of these little animals hibernate in the wintertime. Um, now, a bear, for example, is a little different. He will eat a lot during the summer months, and he'll get really fat by the time the winter comes. And then for a few months, he will sleep, he Until or she or whatever. They'll pretty much sleep on and off, maybe don't move around a little bit, but mostly just sleep. And they don't eat all winter. They don't store food. Um, but a, oh, let me write it down here because this is a good good word for pronunciation. Uh, let's go here. Well. Yeah, it's hard to say. Oh, did I? No, I forgot my. Oh, oh I forgot my U. What's that? What's oh? Squirrel. All right. Well, basically, we're going to cut it right about there, right? Squirrel. 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 And then from that R, we're going to keep it going. Squirrel. 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 No. Squirrel. No. no. <laughs> Gabby, you try first. Squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah, you got it. Tracy. Squirrel. Squirrel. But you're not going to go two different R's. The R's is just going to kind of stretch it a bit. Squirrel, 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 all in one wave. Squirrel. Not squirrel, roll, squirrel, roll. No, just squirrel, squirrel. Squirrel. That's better. Jason, squirrel. I can't hear you. Squirrel. Now I hear you. That's good. Gabby. Squirrel. Squ oh, not Gabby. I mean, uh, Glory. <laughs> There's two Gabbies. Glory. Yeah. Squirrel. Squirrel. Louder, get Glory, so I can hear you. I can't hear you way back there. Squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah, just like girl. That R L sound. Girl. Squirrel. <laughs> Now, cigar smoking cat. Squirrel. Squirrel. No, the cat. Tell the cat to say it. No. See, he's so lazy. He won't even talk. Phoenicia. Squirrel. Squirrel. That's pretty good. Alien. Squirrel. What? Squirrel. Squirrel. All right. So, yeah. So, a squirrel. What does a squirrel collect? 
Nuts. Yeah, yeah nice. nuts and chestnuts, and they store it in a tree or wherever they're they're living. They collect things, food for the winter. Yeah, they do. And I don't Ants know. too. I don't know. There's a lot of little animals like that that do that, but I don't really know which ones, to be honest. I just found out now that apparently frogs and toads um, hibernate in the winter. Too. Did you ever what about a- ants? That's a really good question. Ants, they live underground and we have them everywhere, even in Canada. So we don't see ants in the winter time. So what? they must they must hibernate in the winter as well. Yeah, underground in there. But I, I don't know if they collect food or not. I don't know how they do that. Something they make nests nests with with some some dirt. They make well, yeah, lots of nests. It's called an ant hill, and then they dig down and make tunnels and everything underground. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go. Well, All right. Africa. What? American. What? America. Australia. Okay, the big one was Australia, but what's that island? New Zealand. Yeah, the island off <laughs> Canada. Gabby, what? Canada. What the heck is a Canada? You sound like you're paradise. <laughs> paradise. Oh, paradise. Well, I will definitely say that there are some places in New Zealand that it feels like paradise. They have some very beautiful landscape. That's for sure. But this is New Zealand. This is where Jason lives. That's why they call them Kiwis. Huh? <laughs> well, actually, I can't. Really, no, actually, I, I did check that because I, I always thought Kiwi was a nickname and that actually the nationality was New, Ze- New Zealanders. But actually, Kiwi is the official nationality of, uh, of people that come from New yeah. Zealand. That's what it said on Google anyway. Yeah. Anyway, New Zealand, beautiful, beautiful place. Um, I know some people from New Zealand and very mountainous. You see all these white lines in the, the, the white part? These are like snow caps. It means there's snow on top of the mountains, so they're very high. Um, so it, probably in the summer, you, you still see snow on the top of the mountains. They're called snow caps or ice caps. Why do you still see snow? Well, like in Canada, for example, in Russia, and I think the French Alps in Europe, even though it's summertime and it's 30 degrees down below and you're swimming and it's beautiful and you're barbecuing, if you look up the mountains, the top of the mountains still have snow and ice. It doesn't melt because the higher you go, the colder it gets. So the top of the mountains is still much cooler than it is in the bottom. What if we go to the mountains if we are so hot? We go to the mountains and we'll be super cold and jump back down to the pool. Well, that's like that's like why a lot of villages in Indonesia and the Philippines, a lot of villages go up the side of the hills or the mountains because the air is much cooler. It's not as hot if you're down by the beach in the water. I, but I like the beach. My, my little bit hated because... He said it was 30 because he hates sand. He doesn't like sand. (laughs) He doesn't like some dirt. So he says it was not fun to go there. Well, it's hard because, you know, a lot of people that grow up, born and grow up in big cities, they obviously don't get a lot of time out in nature and on the beach and in the forests. And uh, it feels very foreign. It feels very strange to be in that environment. It's like, ah. It's like when we read the story of the town mouse and uh, the country mouse when they what? visit each other. What? And, the town and, mouse? Yeah. Well, who's in reading here? Well, actually, only Tracy's in our reading class. Glory, you know, Glory's in the reading class. Glory, you remember the story, the town mouse and the country mouse? Yeah. Yeah. So, but the town mouse goes to the country and he finds everything wet because it's grass everywhere and the cows are everywhere and and the food is very simple and, you know, bread and oatmeal. And he's used to cakes and busyness and a very dry atmosphere. And at night, it's noisy and lights on everything. There's things going on. So he feels very uncomfortable in the countryside. And people who come from smaller villages or small towns, they go to the big city. And it's like, oh, my God, 
It's so noisy and busy and the traffic and, oh, I don't like it. Right. You get used to your environment where you live. So that's why your brother, he goes to the beach and the sand and he thinks it's like, ah, so dirty and not fun and hot. And because he hasn't spent much time there, he was born and lives in Jakarta and probably doesn't get a lot of time out in the country. So you feel different when that happens. I don't care about anything. So when my brother don't like it, my brother only sits on the rock. I just place on the water. All right. What do you call the period of time? Band. Saturdays and Sundays, or even from Friday evening until Sunday night. Band. A band. Oh. Weekend. It's about about the days. Weekend. Weekend, yeah. Was that the Jason? I heard you this time. I heard a mumble. I heard a mumble, mumble with a grumble in the lumble. <laughs> juice. Yeah, weekend, right? Because okay, well, a week is sun. Ah, uh, the first actually, the first day of a week, Tra- is Sunday, not Monday. Trevor, can I go? Can I yep. drink? Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, you can always drink in class. Just no eating. No eating. No eating and no smoking cigars. <laughs> and Tally Manuel, no scratching the you know what. Or Raphael, whoever that was. <laughs> okay, so a week actually starts on Sunday. That's the first day of the week. It's not Monday, even though we always say Sunday is the relaxed day. Well, actually, it does have a meaning, but I forget what it is. There is a meaning. Actually, all the days have meanings historically. Um, but the first day of a week is actually Sunday. You'll notice if you look at a calendar, 99% of them will start on Sunday to Saturday as the first day of the week. So a, a week is seven days, but Monday to Friday, basically what we call a work week, is called the weekdays. It's always you know business hour, business days, weekdays is Monday to Friday. But Saturday and Sunday, we consider that the weekend. And that's where most people have their time off and family time and things like that. Gabby, is your dad eating pizza in the middle of our class? No. Okay. I thought it looked like pizza. He's eating something. What? It looks like pizza to me. That's not pizza. (laughs) He's eating donuts. Tell him to go eat it outside. It'll make us hungry. <laughs> Behind the tree. In the neighbor's house. Outside the <laughs> With the chickens. With the chickens. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Next word, next word, next word. Ah, oh, take a picture and mm, on social media. And mail. And mail. And <laughs> It wasn't mail. What do you do with your pictures on Facebook? Uh, post it. Post. Not posted, but post. Yeah, post. to post. Oh, my God. Benicia having a big day today. Six points. But one point might be Jason's. <laughs> Could be. He's getting angry now. Watch out. He's going to do some Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Kung Fu to slice a bread. Alien, I don't see your face. <laughs> to post something on social media, yeah. But you could also, um, well, it wouldn't be called post a letter. Post a letter means to put up on a letter, etc. That Why is it they call it a post office and they call it? Mail office? Um, are delivered to homes. Postmail? Well, they call them the postman, and they call it a post office. I guess you can say post a letter, but it sounds strange for some. To me, it's mail a letter, but let's see what happens when I type in post a letter. Okay, so yeah, post a letter means the same thing as mailing a letter. That must be a British English thing, because we always say mail letters. How to send a letter by post. Yeah, to us, the post is the place, not the action. 
Is it here? Oh, yeah, because it can be a verb. Okay. Yeah. So post. That's what we're looking for. Things have changed a lot with email now and social media. It's very different from when I was a kid. Okay. Nick, what do we got left here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six words left. Benicia's got six points, but Gabby and Alien both have two points. So it's still possible to catch her. Let's go to the next word here. All right. Maybe you want to talk to someone about something. Maybe it's for a job. Maybe. Conversation. No. Argue. Maybe it's two Speech. people. Well, like these people are waiting. They have their resumes or their CVs in their hands. They're going to go talk to someone about a Thank job. You. Yeah. Who said that? Was that Jason? Yeah. No. Not me. What was it? Tracy. Who Tracy? said interview? Tracy. Tracy. Was it Tracy? Interview. Yeah. Tracy, who said it? Oh, my God. Tracy, did you say interview? Yes. Okay, well, I only asked six times. Interview. Tracy gets it. Two points for Tracy. An interview. Now, there it could be many different ways here. A meeting in which people ask you some questions to see if you are suitable for a job. Okay, so if you want a job and, and they call you after you submit, give your CV, curriculum, vita, or a resume, which tells your experience and your education and why you want a job, which you'll experience someday. Um, they call you and you come in and you have an interview with them. That way they get to know you and see if you could be good for the job that they're hiring for and you would be an employee. Um, sometimes it could be an interview where, let's say, I invite some friends who own a school in Indonesia to join me on a podcast and I interview them about what it's like running a school in Indonesia. So we're having an interview together. I'm interviewing them of interest, more topic in top interest topics. And it could be the reporters or journalists who are reporting people in the news, um, interviewing a politician or a businessman, businessman, what other kind of interview could there be? Yeah, I guess that pretty much sums it up. Interviews. Yeah. So Tracy's got two now, too, but this is good for Benicia. All right. To get ready for something is to? Uh, prepare. Prepare. Say it again, Benicia. Prepared. Yeah, prepare, prepared. That wraps it up. Benicia is going to win the vocab challenge today. Yes. No, that's her first one. Aliens won one. Gabe, Gabby's won one. And now yeah. Benicia. I think she's won one. Let's just double check. To prepare or to be prepared, meaning that you prepared before now. So now you are prepared. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yeah, you are looking at a couple of beautiful salmon steaks. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. I, I, I could go for that right now, too. But I, already, but already, but I already ate a burger. Oh, I'm my God. A beef burger. Did, did you make the burger at home or did you buy it in a fast food restaurant? Buy it and I got a toy. Ugh, disgusting. But it's more tasty than my mom makes it. <laughs> no, homemade hamburgers are much better with some quality beef and quality cheese. All right, so what do we got here? Prepare one, two, three, four. And it's a 7-2 lead. So, yes, Gabby did win. Congratulations, Gabby. You have won today the vocab challenge. So let's see who's going to go second last. In sentences. Da, 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 da. Next I mean, is going to be. You mean who wins? Well, you've won today already. You've got a five point lead, but only four words left. Okay. All right, this is to give information to people. A talk giving yeah, information. A speech? It could be a speech. Speech? Uh, but usually when you're giving speech, is a. Uh, well, a speech is. Presentation? Presentation. Speech. Or, yeah. Teach. No. Presentation. A presentation. A presentation at work about the plans for this year, what we're going to do, our marketing, advertising, or maybe it's a presentation on a new hand phone. It could be a presentation about anything. Presentation about something you make. It could be. 
That's really good. What's the proper way to explain the difference between a speech and a presentation? In a speech, usually someone's just talking about something. And often it's like a speech uh, thanking people for something they've done. A speech presentation is publicly speaking to an audience with an intent to inform, demonstrate, explain, or persuade. A presentation is normally written, then performed, and includes an introduction, a body consisting of the main facial facial, focal points. of. Okay, so a presentation is more like when you're going to show slides, you're going to show pictures. Um, I guess the class is almost like a presentation on, on English, on vocabulary. A speech, usually you're just talking, trying to motivate people or thank people to an audience, public speaking. It's like when you see the president or the leader talks to the people about what's going on, but he doesn't have a slideshow behind him of showing different PowerPoints. All right. This now this is a these are three new words. It's not in the book. I added these to challenge you guys a little bit. And, and I don't expect that you're going to get them, but I'm hoping you're starting to learn how to use another device and start looking for answers in Google That's because it's real. In real life, it's not about memorizing your school books. It's about providing a service or finding the answers quick. That's how you're going to get ahead in your job and in your career. But I don't wear Google anytime. I don't use Google. Well, that's a disadvantage if you don't use Google, because Google is the best little dictionary you can you can use. At I don't have a phone. My grandma don't have a Google. My mom is not. You got it, alien. What is it, alien? Yeah, That's right. See, alien looked it up. See, now he'd get the job because he found the solution to the problem faster because he's using the tools available. And that's an important skill. Speed is very important in the real world. He who does it first usually benefits more than the others. This word is irrigation. Actually, it's pronounced irrigation. Irrigation. So let's say that one first, and then I'll explain it. Irrigation, Gabby. Irrigation. Irrigation. And the stress is on gation. Irrigation. Tracy, irrigation. Irrigation. Ira, irrigation. Irrigation. Yeah, Jason. Irrigation. <laughs> Be careful. It's not immigration. It's irrigation. Gation. Irrigation. No, not Gabby. Jason. Irrigation. Irrigation. Benicia. Irrigation. Ira. It sounds like an A. Irrigation. Irrigation. irrigation and the stress is on gation so that's where it's going to go up a bit irrigation irrigation finish up irrigation she's frozen glory irrigation irrigation good alien was frozen benicia was frozen alien oh no mine irrigation see now i'm getting the feeling that you're not paying attention Irrigation. Irrigation. Yeah, see, now you said it perfectly after you paid attention because all the other students said it before you and then you didn't know how to say it when it came to your turn. Pay attention, alien. Break time's just around the corner. All right, so this one is about... Okay, sorry, I forgot to explain it. Irrigation is a system of watering large areas of land for farming. Right, all these big pipes going across these farms. But why do they use tires for? So it can move. Farmlands are big, right? All the crops, right? It could be like a corn? kilometer long. Could corn, be corn. It could be potatoes. It could be anything. But it's a lot of watering. If you're just walking back and forth with a bucket of water, you're gonna have a long day, <laughs> or a lot of staff. So this is how they water. Big, big farmlands. It's called irrigation. Irrigation means watering the soil, the land, and for the, for the food that's growing, for the crops. And you have smaller ones inside because now we do a lot of 
farming inside with hydroponic lights, but that's, that's a different story. But farming, irrigation is watering. We even do it in our houses. Some people have houses and big yards, right, or gardens, and then they'll have sprinkler systems outside, and it spins water around or shoots water around, and it waters everything evenly so the grass is green and the plants grow. Because um, as we know, plants won't grow unless they have water and what? Sunlight. Yeah, they need sun and they need water and good soil. Good soil, too. So water is very important. Not having enough water has completely destroyed civilizations in the past. You know, villages and cities. Water is very important. Without it, it's pretty hard to have any life. All right. This is a beautiful picture. See them all walking up here? Absolutely beautiful. Mountains. They are mountains. Cliffs. Cliffs. Cliff. And they are amazing cliffs. I don't know if I'd stand up on that cliff. Maybe when I was young, but now I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> it's too tall. Yeah, I don't think I would stand up there. I'd be too nervous now. I'm too old. I don't trust oh. myself. <laughs> Will it fall down? Well, I hope not. <laughs> I don't want to go. But that sure is beautiful. But that's not what we're looking for here. Marine. Now, remember how we looked at... Um, <coughs> Sorry, Mr. Sherbert, I think Alien say something. Say something. What did you say, Alien? He's been mumbling uh, a lot rain, tonight. Rain. Yeah, rain. that's right. You got it. The word I'm looking for is this. Range. What? Now, a range. A ranger? Oh, no, look at the word. It's right there. Range. J -j that little D sound before the zh. Range. That's range. Well, I'm going to explain. Mountain range. A range mm. can be a long open area, like a field could be a big range. Um, it's like where you would feed, feed cattle, um, free ranging. Um, but range is also how we describe a string of many, many, many mountains in a line. Now, Usually what happens, and I'm going to list two things. I'm going to go back to that picture of New Zealand, for example. Just really quick here. See all those white mountains down here again? I told you they were the tops of mountains. Yeah. Well, see how they all run in a line along the coast? Mm -hmm. That's a mountain range because it goes for a long distance. So they call it, the, and it usually has a name. Oh, that's Alexander Mountain Range, or that's Kootenai Mountain Range. They have names because there are different ones. There are lots of mountain ranges in the in the Rocky Mountains, in the um, the French Alps, and in the Indies, and all over the world. The Himalayas, India, Mount Everest, all that stuff. So it's a it's a string. It's many many mountains together that are connected. So let me get back to our picture here. Let me give you another example so you might remember this. This one. All right, here we go. So let me do a little drawing here for a minute. Let's say this is the last word. Oh, no, there's one more word. Let's say we have a river. Okay, this is a river. All right, water, river. And then let's say we have some trees all along here and over here. Little trees, actually. But you said tree. when we are in the mountains, you don't see many trees. Well, I'm going to explain that right now. These are big mountains on this side. These are big mountains on this side. Now, so the land is going to go from the bottom where there's a river, right? That's going to be the lowest part. Then it's going to curl and go up to the mountains on both sides. Right? It's going to curl and go up, up to the top of the mountains. The top of the mountains have snow on them. Right? You can see it over here. See the snow? Yes. They have to be a certain height. I don't remember how many meters it is, but right, these are all big mountains. Now, going to be cold. down between these mountains, we have a river. What do we call this area? Down lake? between the, no, a lake is a big body of water. What do we call the area down below the mountains, between Stream. the mountains? River. What? 
Water. Well, the river is water. We call it a fountain. A valley is the bottom between mountains. But a valley is not usually between one mountain and one mountain. How many times do you go in the middle of the field and you or the middle of the wild and you see one big mountain? You know, I don't pretty, know. It's pretty rare. I mean, there are there is like Ayers Rock there down in Australia, and there's there's a few places. Volcanoes. Go to the bathroom. Yes. Volcanoes are a little different, and they could be in the middle of nowhere and not have other mountains around them. But if you have a valley like this, then you're gonna have you have, and usually the bottom of a, a valley, almost always there's a river because the water comes down the mountains to the lowest area, and you have a river. It could lead to a lake, but eventually it probably all leads to the ocean. But as you see on both sides here, over here and over here, you have many mountains. So this could be Alexander Ridge Range, and this could be McDonald Range. Those sets of mountains that go in a line are called mountain ranges, a mountain range. In here, you can see, see how all these, they look like they're all connected. See all the white caps? They, like you could go up one and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. That's a very long mountain range. And this one here, if we if we if we if we play it, you'll see how as we go around this mountain, they continue. See how the mountains are all connected in lines? It's because the plates move together and then they forward, they go underneath and they push up and they make mountains. See all the ridges everywhere. They continue. Mountain ranges. All right. Now, trees. Now, if you look, let's go back to the beginning of this one. Like, it doesn't matter where I start, actually. I have to go to the snow ones. Okay. Let's pause. Now, notice how these mountains here have trees all the way to the top. Yeah? Yeah. But over here, all you have is snow. Right? Yes. Okay. If you look very carefully, I'm going to take a draw here. You're going to see there's a line. I know it's the top of the mountains, but you can pretty much see where the trees. You see, there's trees here. 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 Trees here. Trees in here. Trees over here. Yeah. But notice it's almost a straight line from the top of the trees. And then it's just rocks. And then it's just snow. It's because the air gets thinner. It's harder to breathe above this line. On this side of the line, the air is thinner. It's colder. And it's harder to breathe. When you climb a very high mountain, sometimes you need oxygen masks. Helicopters in some mountains like in the Himalayans, the highest mountains, the helicopters can't even go to the top because the air is too thin. So there's not enough oxygen to breathe for the trees to grow. And that's why you can see this, the line. Um, these ones are not high or tall enough. That's why there's trees all over them. See how they're lower. But above a certain line, and I don't remember what latitude it is, but the air changes and trees don't grow anymore. Understand? Okay. Okay. That's good because I want to take a break and we get the last word. No questions, anybody? No. Nobody cares? <laughs> Trevor talking too much? Okay. What do we call artificial waterways? Man-made rivers. What do we call these things? There's crowds everywhere. They're not real rivers. They're made by people. Water? Well, of course it's water. They are rivers in a way. Well, they are uh, rivers, but they're man -made. Lake? Lake. Lake is a big it's body a of water. Artificial. What, Jason? Artificial. Oh, the, artificial. Well, I already said artificial waterway. <laughs> so it is art. Well, I, I don't know if you could call Well, it is artificial. That's right. It's man made. It's real, but it's artificial. <laughs> Sorry, alien. Canal. Canal, not canal. It's canal. Canal. 
canoe. Canoe is a is a, well okay. Uh, actually, these look well. These are very similar to canoes, but there's a different word for them, and I totally forget what they are. Oh, they're called gondolas. In Canada, a gondola is the box that's on on metal wires that goes in the sky that you can go over a city, over a park, over a lake, in the mountains. You go up to ski hills on a on a on a gondola. But in Italy, they call these little canoes. I call them canoes. Canadians call these canoes, um, but they're actually called gondolas. I didn't know that until I searched it one day. Yeah. Okay. So, but that's not what we're looking at. It's not about the boats. It's about the water. Venice is built on, on well, Venice is kind of weird. It, it's built on water on stilts, but I think it was built on the water and it formed canals. But like in Ottawa here, they've extended a river. This is the Ottawa River Canal. Uh, Ottawa, what do they call it? Rideau, Rideau Canal. Rideau Canal. What about the picture when the people are walking? Is that yeah. really water or there ice? It's it's ice now. This this I have skated there many many times. They're skating on their skates. Oh, you mean when the water freezes? Yeah, this is in Ottawa, Canada, and they have a huge canal that goes through Ottawa, the city of Ottawa, the capital. And um, in the winter time, it's very cold there; it freezes. So in the winter, you can go skating on the canal. It's like nine kilometers long. So I never go skating. Huge. Well, you should. You have a Tamanangrek Mall. You you have a skating rink. You could go. I know, but I only, I only do roller skates. But my dad says if I can do roller skates, I can do ice skating. Well, they're a little different, but yeah, you got to try it. It takes time. You got to strengthen your ankles. Anyway, you. this picture over here is another another good example of a canal. It's a very big canal that was made in Panama. Um, Panama is a small little country that divides North and South America. And they made this big canal so the ships could go across from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean and not have to go all the way around South, Af South America to get to the other side. So it's a, it's a very economic canal, but a big one. So canals are man-made rivers. All right. Alien, good job finding the answers because that's what he's doing. He's looking up the answers. He's finding them on Google, and these are skills you need to learn in time. All right. So Benicia wins the vocab challenge with eight points, and we're going to go to sentence challenge. Miss Lay. Hello, Miss Lay. Hello, everybody. And goodbye, Gabby, right? It's so late there. It's that time. Yay. Good night, Gabby. Good night, Gabby. Good night, Gabby. Good night, Jeff. Good night, Emmanuel, Rafael, and anybody else that's there. What? So what time is there? It's an hour ahead, so it's uh, 9.43 there. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit late. Philippines, one hour ahead of us later. All right. So, so Indonesia, and, well, Jakarta and Vietnam are the same time zone, same time. All right, so first today is going to be Glory. Glory. Oh, Glory's number one today. Jason, number two today. Tracy, number three. Alien, number four. And Benicia, number five. Okay, let's go. So, Glory, just give an example with pocket. I have money in my pocket. You have money in your pocket? So, tell Mr. Trover. Okay, that's good. Jason, number two. Part Give me yeah. that money. <laughs> no. You can when do it. I, grow, I will get a full time job instead of a part time job. Again? I when I grow up, I will get a full time job instead of a part time job. Very good Eight example. Seconds. When I grow up, I can get a full-time job, not a part-time job. That's right. Very, very good one. Tracy, number three, discuss. We are, we are discussing about her profile on Facebook. About? Well, about is discussing. Profile. 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 
profile. Profile, yes. Facebook profile. Yes. Actually, actually we, we don't have to use about, right, Mr. Yeah. Trevor? We just yeah. say we, dis we are discussing. Um, profiles. Yeah, are Facebook discussing profile. Facebook profiles. Profiles, yeah. Yep, yeah. <laughs> because the meaning here, so it's, it's really like uh, in Vietnamese, we in this situation, like a talk about, right? But not discuss about, we just discuss something, right? Yeah, so yeah, we are discussing. Yeah. We never say discuss about. <laughs> yeah. Even in Kai like when we translate to our language, it sounds really right. <laughs> but no. So Tracy's sentence is we are discussing um, Facebook profiles. Yeah. Although based Facebook. Well, profiles. discuss has a similar meaning to having a meeting. Right. So when you're discussing something, it's having a meeting with someone. Mm, yeah, but for some reason, when we put about there, we feel really yeah, right. <laughs> oh, for translation, yeah. Yeah, translation. Okay, Jason. Oh, it's not Jason, sorry. Alien. Jason had a good sentence. Alien, number four. Mm -hmm. I have less. Uh, I don't have any trade. I don't have any tractors. <laughs> so not you're not a farmer. <laughs> okay, the last yeah, one. Up, not yeah, farmer. Of, no, not farmer. The last one of this page is for Benicia, and it's very <laughs> easy. Um, I want to go to Canada. When in the future? I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting, right? You can I wanna play, play with the snow. The snow. <coughs> Mr. Trevor said that you have to bring your mittens. The glass, yes. right? So cold I go there. to somewhere that has pretend snow too. I wear mittens and and I wear coats. Of course. Winter jackets, right? But it's okay. not very cold there. It's not very like real snow. It's not cold. Mm. I oh. don't really like when it's hot. Actually in the summer. Yeah. All right. So back to Glory. Are you there? Just a cat. <laughs> so Glory, do you remember the meaning of this word? Are you there? Number six, yeah. You know, legal. It's like we have the right to do it. It's right to do, but illegal. I mean not. It's not right. It's not good to do. So what is illegal? Kind of like um, stealing, right? Stealing things from other is illegal. So can you give an example with number six, Glory? Uh, illegal. What is illegal there? Uh, I'm sure stealing, right? Everywhere. They could just kidnap a girl that's illegal. Illegal. Kidnapping who? Huh? You, you said kidnapping, right? Yeah. Mm. But who or what? I, I couldn't hear the, the... Can you say it again? Okay. You can kidnap a little girl that's a little girl. Mm, I guess that maybe you have to sit a little bit uh, closer to the mic. I have hard time to hear. I don't have a mic. No, it's in the laptop. <laughs> so that's why Kyle, we have to sit quite close to the screen. So once again, once again, about illegal. Why did you kidnap a little girl? That's very illegal. Mm, okay, kind of understand. Yeah, kidnap a little girl. So because here illegal is adjective, so it make, right? So the action, so we say that kidnapping a girl, right, or little girl, or just say that kidnapping anybody is illegal, right? So we just say kidnapping is illegal for sure. Yes. I don't think anywhere that you're allowed to do it. You are allowed to do it. Jason, another different place. South, South Africa. Africa, there is no rain. South Africa is what? There's no rain in South Africa. 
Who said that? <laughs> yeah, I don't think anywhere is no rain, but maybe just not as much as we have, right? So doesn't have much rain, we should say that, yeah. Mm. All right, but I don't say I don't think that no rain at all. No, we cannot say that for sure. People cannot survive there without water, no rain. JC number eight group. My group, my group will we will have a speech tomorrow. Mm. We'll have a speech, we'll make a speech tomorrow. Very good. Number nine, alien. Opposite to number six, alien. It's not illegal, it's legal. So, what is legal? This Japanese legal work. What legal work? Yeah. Once again, it's like a little bit laggy, broken. I, I cannot hear the full sentence. Can you say it again? This job is legal work. Ah, this job is a legal. Is this job is legal work? That's what you said. Yeah. Okay. All right. Number ten, Benicia. Note. Note. <laughs> nice travel. Travel is gone. Travel is not in his desk. Mm -hmm. I write a note. I write a note for my friend. Mm, I write. So Did that's when you use present simple. You can say that I sometimes, right? Take a note for my friend. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes this one is about structure. So we kind of because if you did it, Benicia, you say I noted. I um, took a note, right? I wrote a note for my friend. Already happened, right? But you sometimes do it. So maybe we should. Put uh, an adverb there, okay? Okay. All right. Back to Glory and maybe the cat. Collect. Collect. Eleven. Yeah, eleven. Collect. I collect shells. Sell shells. All right. Nice. Very nice. With shells. Cat. Yeah, shells. And cats, Mr. Chogo said. How many cats do you have, Glory? How many cats do you do do you have at home? Glory? Three. Three. They all good? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Jason. New Zealand is a beautiful country. <laughs> beautiful country. It's a beautiful country. The thing is very fast and that is the right sentence. Okay. Will you visit it sometime? No. In the future? Not no. sure. Say no. Why? It's so beautiful. And uh, yeah. I heard that the weather is so very nice too. Okay. Tracy already is very fast. We can. Wow. We can the thread on the first syllable. Really? Would you like to go to the movies with me on the weekend? Mm, sure, it's a very, very good idea. Would you like to go? Would you like to go to the cinema or for a movie with me on the weekend? Uh, alien number four, post. Post you see here mm. can be now, can be verb. 14, alien, alien laughing. I post. I post a, I post a picture. I post a picture Facebook. on Facebook. Okay, so on Facebook. Yeah, I think the past form is posted, and if you try to use present simple, so you maybe say, I post a picture or photo on Facebook every day or sometimes or often. Okay, try to put adverb yeah. there to show that it's your habit or you do it quite regularly. And then it's in present simple, okay? Because if not, we don't think that, oh, you already did it, right? So it must be, I posted. All right. Benicia, the last one of this page, interview. Mm. I never had an interview before. <laughs> I have, I have. You will in the future. Nice example. And you even use present 
I never had. I have never. Mm, actually, you use past simple. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Back to Glory. How we many care. more do we have? Huh? How do you more? How do? How much more do you have? No, that's it. One more for each of you, and that's it. We'll take a short okay. break. Yeah, Glory, prepare. Um, I'm preparing for my next class. Wow, very nice. You use this very naturally, and it's it's yeah. It can be like a, for the future or right now. Very good. I am preparing for my next class. Good, Jason. Presentation. Most of people is shy to presentation. Ah, to have or when they have. Okay, because presentation is a noun, and most of people so we say are ah, right. Or maybe we say that most of people are shy when they have first, right? Because after that you practice, and then your skin thicker. <laughs> and then you're not shy anymore. So we should say the first. You think that most of people are shy um, when they have a first presentation. Nice. Tracy, number 18, irrigation. So if you want to say the system, you say irrigation system. Irrigation. Irrigation. Okay. What kind of irrigation? Irrigation. Irrigation, yeah. Irrigation. What mm. type, right? It just it's just the WH word. So you should have put something there to make a question, right? What type of irrigation? What kind? Oh uh, yeah, what kind of what type is the same? So what type of irrigation? That's it. It's just a, it's the question. Ah, okay. So it's not. It just uh, who the, uses irrigation? Huh? Who uses ir irrigation? Tracy, who uses it? Who like needs a, it? Like a who? Yeah, who who need this one? Mister Trevor just asked. You think, for example, I need pen, right? I need pen. I need I need talk, right? To write, um, teacher, right? But who need um irrigation? Yeah. Worker. Um, farms, farms, right? Farmers, right? Farms need it. Mm -hmm. So, if you say you said, what was your what was your sentence? No, not yet. It's just the question. What she just say? What type of yeah. irrigation? So, what type of irrig irrigation do farmers use? Mm -hmm. Like that, yeah. right, Tracy? Because that it just like a what time, right? Uh, what time, what color? It's just the WH word, not a sentence or not a question yet. So, Mr. Trevor just finished for you. You can ask what type of irrigation does the farmer use? Maybe here, right? Maybe different from here and there. Yeah, so that makes a question. Okay. Alien, the last one for today mountain range. <laughs> How can you describe it? So I, I, I take a picture with my with my family in a mountain range. Hmm. In the mountain range, in or at? Wow. Huh? Well, it would be in the mountain range, meaning you're somewhere below huh. amongst in all the mountains, or on a mountain range because you're on it. On the top, yeah. Wow. Okay, so he said that he took a picture of his family in the mountain range. So it means like at the foot, right? Okay. That's simple. The last one here for Benicia. Cornell, not Cornell. Um, Cornell. Artificial waterway. I never saw a canal before. <laughs> I never saw. Very good. Carter is full of canals. <laughs> but she still hasn't seen yet. All right, every, everybody, you did a really good job. Everybody had uh, points. And congratulations, Benicia, to win the vocab today. And take a short break. After that, you go back to our reading. Mm, go back to the reading with Mr. Trevor. So, bye from Miss Lee. Good night, everybody. Bye, Bye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye.